everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing Valak, the evil nun from The Conjuring. So let's get started. So first I'm going to dehydrate my eyebrows with a little rubbing alcohol. So that way the glue sticks better. Um, she doesn't have any eyebrows, so uh, we need to get rid of those and white them out. So I'm just taking uh, first some barrier spray to put on my face, just to kind of protect my skin from all the crap that we're going to be putting on it. It burns, so uh, I'm not going to lie. I think I put a little bit too much. So just some uh, Elmer's glue. I get the purple kind just so I can know how much I'm putting on. But you can just get the regular old um, glue sticks. I take my palette knife and just apply uh, a lot of this. More than you would think. I have really dark, thick eyebrows, so I am going to put two coats of this on. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so I did two layers of this um, glue stick, and I'm just going to cake on a lot of baby powder just to set it. Um, that way it's not sticky, and this will really help to the, um, 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 doing a lot of ums today. The water-based face paint that I'm going to be putting on, it'll really help it stick, or else, you know, it would get all, like, caked and glumpy and whatever. Uh, so, this didn't dry clear because I put so much on, so it doesn't really matter if I'm <coughs> My dogs are going nuts. Uh, I'm going to be putting a lot of white cream paint on. So, But if you didn't want that, I would just go with clear. Alright, so I'm taking my white Snazaroo uh, water-based paint. And I'm just going to go over my entire face. And I'm going to do this twice. Just to get like a really good layer on. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because obviously this nun's face is like all gross looking and dirty so it doesn't have to be like clown white where you can't see like any of your skin but you want to get as much coverage as you can make sure you get your eyelids your nose your mouth everything it'll give a good uh, base for the black and everything to stand out on get a nice uh, blank canvas i'm not going to do the top of my forehead because uh, that's where the um uh, headpiece is going to go so and I'm not going to worry about doing all that. I even actually probably went too high with the white but it's all good. Alright uh, so now I'm going to start with the black. I'm just going to take a paintbrush. This is the water-based black snazaroo face paint and I'm just gonna start with like a basic uh, coat on my above my eyebrow I'm sorry <laughs> on my eyelid all the way up to where my eyebrow was um, and then just kind of going with a thin line underneath my uh, lash line this doesn't have to be like perfect like whatsoever um, we're gonna put a couple layers on and then really start to blend it out so I could just wing this, and I'm looking to, at a picture for reference, but you know, this is just what I did. She's got those like real creepy black, um, I don't know what you want to call them, but it goes all the way up to your eyebrow. I mean, I guess you, you didn't even have to um, cover your eyebrows, but... I wanted to give it even more of like some definition with like the that's why I put a really thick layer on with the glue so it kind of like made it like a, an effect that like there's like you know bone there instead of eyebrows just like you know little 3d effect so I'm just gonna do this on both eyebrows uh, both oh my god I cannot talk today I swear on um, both eyes It's always good to have a picture reference just to kind of go by. You really should be looking at the reference, I would say 80% and then doing 20% on your face. 
It doesn't always turn out that way, but this one is kind of a little bit easier. It's not as detailed. There's a lot of um, special effects makeup, so a lot, a lot of it I just kind of just like went with it. Alright, so I'm just taking, I'm dry, I kind of like took a lot of the paint off of my brush and I'm just kind of going with a dry brush and like blending that face paint on my eyes just a little bit outwards. I have a fan on me as well so it kind of dries in between. Alright, now I got some um, black just eyeshadow on a, like a fluffy round brush and I'm just going to try to blend out underneath and around my eyes. If it starts to look gray, just keep putting a lot more on. You want this to look as dark as you can, but you want like the blending to be a little bit more like on the gray side. Excuse any background noises. One of my sons was asleep, but my youngest son was still kind of hanging out and he likes all this horror stuff, so he was kind of checking it out, but mostly ignoring me because I'm crazy and he knows it. All right, so now we're going to go with the black snazaroo on the mouth. Um, this is this part you want to get like really dark. I think I went over this. Knock it off, you guys. I think I went over on my lips probably like five times. You want this really dark, but then, you know, you're just going to smudge it out. And you want to do this while the paint's still wet. But you want to do it with a drier brush because you don't want like like a black clown mouth. You kind of want it to look dirty and smudged. I'm just kind of going, making some shadows underneath my nose. She has like a really long, long, elongated nose and like a lot, like, I don't know. It's a lot different than mine and I didn't have like any type of prosthetic. So I'm just using shadows and highlights to kind of make it look like my, you know, it appears to be longer and nastier. <laughs> I don't have like the greatest vocabulary right now. But yeah, so I'm just going to go really like a line on each side and really shade that out. You want to leave the top of your nose like as, as white as you can because she has such a bright white highlight that goes down the center to make it appear like she has like a really long nose. So now you're just going to start making like ridiculously weird faces so that you can see your natural creases and you kind of want to follow those creases with a dry brush so that you get like really um, defined lines where you look like old and decrepit and angry and the best way to do this without having to draw like perfect lines is to just start making really like weird faces. So just like try different brushes, see like what you get. I like to do like fluffy, um, fluffy brushes and then take like a really um, thin brush and then go like even more defined with a little bit uh, darker paint and then kind of go in with a fluffy brush and blend that out. It's really all experimenting. This is the first like attempt I did at this nun so I mean, I was just seeing how it went. I'm sure the more you do it, the better it will look, but I had a headache and I just kind of did it quick this time. But it came out all right. But you get the idea. Oh, that one was a little too dark, so I'll have to blend that out. You don't really want to have a lot of paint on your brush when you're doing these defined lines and wrinkles. And that's what you're going to keep doing. You're just going to, you know, keep blending. 
keep adding black where if it looks like it's getting gray or if you may like right there I took some of my white paint off so you're just gonna have to like keep like touching up and going around looking at the picture going back and forth trying to get as much <coughs> oh my god this dog as much shading uh, and highlights as you can um, yeah I mean, that's it that's about it <laughs> that would look ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, that's my door alarm. I gotta let these crazy dogs outside. So I'm going around the edges of my nose, really trying to get those dark... Get those frown lines in. No, I should keep going. Now I'm gonna do some of the contouring on the cheeks and make sure, you know, make it look like she's got like those skeleton type cheekbones, like real sunken in and creepy looking. So I think of like, you know, like the, the skeletons from like, I don't know, like Coco where they're like have like the high cheekbones, but then it goes down. So I kind of imagine that in my head, like how it would work and then just blend that in. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner and I'm going to go on my waterline and try to get that as dark as I can because um, so it, it really looks like you see a lot of my skin. Um, I was going to use mascara to cover up all that white that I had on my lashes, but I knew I was going to be putting my contacts in and my eyes were going to water and it's hard to put in contacts when like you're not, when you can't like really touch your face and like pull down your eyelid. Um... And I can't put my contacts in beforehand, so I just didn't. Next time, probably won't get, like, as much white on my eyelashes. All right, so she has these cracks, like, all over her face. So I use the same eyeliner pencil um, or brush. You can use just, like, a, a paintbrush. But you need to go extremely light-handed with these cracks. Uh, you don't want it to look, you know, like you have this, like, thick black line on. So you have to just go really, really light um, with getting these on so it appears like you know she has like these big cracks and splits in her face and I'm looking at the reference photo just so I can get an idea of like where she had them so you know it looks authentic and it kind of worked out well because like this is that uh, Kat, Kat Von D um eyeliner that I have I love her eyeliner um and it's actually running out so I you know it was easier for me to make like these really very light um cracks but like just be really careful if you're gonna do it with a paintbrush make sure it's very 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 thin paintbrush and really water down that black so you can get the paint as thin as you can All right, so I have this white cream-based stick, and like I said, you really want to make like a really bright, bright white line down the center of your nose to make it appear that, you know, your nose is way longer than, um, than it is. Cause she has like this elongated, you know, schnoz, so you want to make it look really defined up there. And then also take that white um, and kind of go over any of the really dark areas that you have. Um, you want where the low lights are, you want to put white highlights under it just to make it appear like deeper in there that they'll have more depth. Well, you know, especially like under the eyes, under where she has those dark, dark circles. Um, and like around the chin. Uh, so, it, you know, it makes it appear that, you know, you have more of like a squared off chin like a skeleton has. And, uh, you know, just go with it. 
Uh, I've never done this um, look before, so you know, you really just gotta play around with it. And nobody taught me how to do any of this special effects makeup. So, you know, the more you do it, the better you get, just like anything else. So I'm sure the next time I do this, it'll look a lot better. But I was just playing around with it. Got this nun costume off of eBay for like, I don't know, 14 bucks. So, you know, I figured let's try it. I made a cool TikTok video out with like the wiping effect. Uh, so you want to you can go check out my TikTok that has that, um, that uh, clip really cool same name the crazy renaissance mom go check out some of my videos are pretty freaking funny and yeah, i'm gonna probably go put in my contacts real soon uh, i'm just gonna go look at it give it a second look over see if i need to adjust anything like putting more of this black on my lips again you really want to get that really really dark um any place where you see kind of where it, it dried and got really gray you want to go over that with more black and, you know blend it out like everything else and then put the costume on and uh the rest is history i scared my husband pretty bad uh i woke him up a little bit beforehand i could have really scared the shit out of him if i wanted to um but you know i wasn't that mean tonight Uh, that's pretty much it. I have really bright lights on my face right now, so um, that's why it may appear to look kind of more crappier. But once like you turn the bright light off and you're in like the natural light um, with the costume on, it really.